Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is actually my second attempt filming this video. My camera decided to act up today, so I had already filmed like a 30 minute long video and all of that deleted, so. Today we will be doing a q and I'll be answering some of your guys' questions and I'm so excited because this is kind of like a way for you guys to get to know me better. So let's get started. I went ahead and I posted two stories on my Instagram and I asked you guys for questions. So the first thing that I got sent is not a question, but this person said, let's do a day in the life together. You know who you are and I'm down to do a day in the life together. So. Especially because you're a coffee lover, I need to start getting into that rhythm again. So hit me up. So the first question is, how's life lately? Life has been a little rough lately. So I was already going to the gym. I was very motivated. I was taking care of my skin, my body. I was doing so well. I had this perfect routine. And out of nowhere, I guess this kind of like wave of depression came and I'm kind of struggling right now but I'm trying to get back together you know I'm trying to create that routine again because I was doing so well like literally guys I was waking up early I was going to the gym I was trying to take care of my you know eating habits and stuff so I was doing so well and I got my period and then everything just went downhill I'm also proud of myself also, I was doing so good on YouTube, I was posting consistently and I guess I kind of stopped and that's not good. So I'm trying to get back in that rhythm, you know, so definitely life is not going as I planned it, but we're going to get there, you know, I'm trying to stay motivated. So that's how life is going lately. So, so the next question is, what is your favorite thing to do every day? So my favorite thing to do every day is literally drive myself to Starbucks. If you guys are new to my channel, you will see that there's like a routine where I go to Starbucks literally every day, which is not good. It's probably not a good habit because I literally spend a lot of money on Starbucks, probably like $200 a month, which is not good. So it's a habit that I'm trying to like break a little bit, you know, so yeah, that, that is one of my favorite things to do every day though, like just drive myself to Starbucks, get my favorite drink, which is a mango dragon fruit. So yeah, next question says, what always makes you smile? All right, so there's multiple reasons why I smile, honestly. Like every time I get a new subscriber, it just makes my heart beat so fast and I get so happy. So that's one of the reasons why you'll catch me smiling pretty, pretty hard. So next question says, if you could change one thing that happened, what would it be? I think that one of the things I would change would be the fact that I didn't visit my grandma as much when she was in the hospital. If you're new to my channel, or if you're new following me on Instagram or something or my socials, um, you don't know this, but I basically lost my grandma not so long ago. It's still pretty recent. It's just something that hasn't healed yet. She was in the hospital for like a month or two. And in that time, I couldn't, I couldn't really visit her. I feel like part of me felt like pretty, pretty sad and didn't want to see her in that bed laying down there, you know, like because my grandma was a pretty happy soul. Like she was always happy. She was like that lady that would like cheer you up. She would give you amazing advice. And so seeing her in that bed, you know, all upset and everything just broke my heart every time. So I guess part of me was just trying to stay away from it because I didn't want to see her in that situation, you know? But that's one of the things I wish I could change. The next question, what is the one item you can live home without? My phone. My phone is my everything. I feel like I have to be on my phone. I'm literally on my phone every day, checking my socials and yeah, like literally, I feel like everybody doesn't, they don't leave their home without their phones. So 
Yep, this is one of the things you will see me always carrying with me. Next question says, what are the main fears of starting a YouTube channel? One of my fears was being made fun of. You know, I've always wanted to become a YouTuber since I was like 12, but I'm sure that it's pretty obvious that English is not my first language. When I was 12, I would feel, you know, I was like, oh my God, like, I don't know if I should start a YouTube channel. People are gonna make fun of me. I'm gonna have a lot of haters, you know, nobody's gonna watch me. That was one of my main fears. And ever since I started my YouTube channel, I've still had that feeling a little bit, but I try to block that feeling and I just try to do me, you know, because I know that if I didn't start my YouTube channel, I would have regretted that for the rest of my life. So I'm pretty excited and I'm really happy that I decided to start my YouTube channel and I love doing this. I honestly, this is one of my dreams come true and I'm very thankful for all of you that are watching this video right now. <laughs> so yeah, that is one of the main fears and I just try to, like I said, I try to block that feeling. I try to do me. I'm just very, very positive all the time when I'm filming. So yeah. That is one of the biggest fears I have. What motivated you to start your YouTube channel? Hmm. So like I said, I wanted to become a YouTuber when I was 12. So at that age, I was like watching morning routines, night routines and everything. And it just looked so easy. Like the way those girls were editing their videos and everything, it looked so easy and cool. You know, to me it was like, oh my God, I want to do that. I really, really want to do that. I feel like nowadays, one of my motivations is seeing Natalie Cuevas, how far life has her right now and how good she's doing. That's one of my motivations just to get there and do full-time YouTube. Like that's one of my dreams and hopefully one day we get to that level, you know? But in order to get to that level, you gotta start from the bottom and I feel like so far we're doing great and yeah, so she's, Natalie Cuevas is literally one of my motivations right now. I love watching her videos. As soon as she posts, I have to watch them. So, <laughs> alright, moving on. Someone asked, do you see yourself doing YouTube full-time? Yes. Being a full-time YouTuber has always been my dream. And hopefully one day we get to that level. And we're going to try our best to get to that level. And yeah, that's one of my main goals. Next question says, where are you from? So I'm actually 100% Guatemalan. I was born in Guatemala and raised in Los Angeles, California, if that makes sense, because my whole childhood was in Guatemala and then my teenage years was here in Los Angeles, California, so. But I'm fully Guatemalan. Next question says, when do you wanna have babies? Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I've been having baby fever really really bad like it's been bad i've i don't know uh, my my goal has always been to become a mother when i'm 25 that way like i can travel and enjoy my marriage with my husband and my puppies right now but lately it's been so bad like literally like everything i see on tiktok instagram even youtube shorts is baby announcements gender reveals and baby showers it's been so bad i'm at that level where i'm like oh my god i really want to see my baby bump oh my god i really want to see bobby jr you know <laughs> so it's been really really hard but if we can wait then definitely when i'm 25 that's my main goal but i always like to say this whenever god wants the babies to come then that's because that was the right time so I feel like my hormones have been all over the place right now and it's just crazy. It's really, really crazy. Next question, how did you meet your husband? All right guys, so here's the story on how me and my husband met. It was back in 2019, I decided to create myself a Tinder account. I know that kind of sounds bad to certain people, but if you are honest from the beginning and you tell whoever you're going on a date with, you tell them what you're looking for and everything. Trust me, you're, they're not gonna make you waste your time. I went on a lot of different dates and I was honest from day one to all of them. I was looking for someone to get married. I was looking for someone to have babies with. That basically kind of helped me because I didn't waste my time with the wrong people. For sure, I knew what I wanted, you know, and they knew what they wanted. So 
it didn't work out then we went our separate ways so me and my husband matched on tinder i told him how i was what i was looking for and he invited me to go out so we went to the movies we went to the amo fashion center and we went to watch the movie 47 meters down and it was just funny because i remember thinking that he was a catfish because to me i was like oh my god like he looks so cute like to me he was like hot and everything you know and his pictures just looked too good to be true i remember inviting my brother over to the movies too so he could come with me and he invited his girlfriend at the time so we went to the movies and i remember seeing my husband from far away and thinking oh my god he's so cute i remember seeing my husband from far away he was like looking for me and everything and at that time he lived all the way in downey mind you that was like an hour away from the mall so in my head i was like wow this guy drove all the way here to see me you know like that's romantic right <laughs> so yeah so i remember when he saw me he gave me the cutest smile ever and gave me butterflies right away and it was just a beautiful feeling i still remember the feeling and it was amazing i felt like a spark that time you know so i was like hmm maybe this is gonna go different while we were watching the movie the one thing that i'll always remember about our first date was the fact that this guy literally threw all the popcorn at me because he got jump scared from a shark it was a shark movie and he got scared so he jumped and he literally threw all the popcorn at me twice and it was just crazy but it was such a cute you know like it was a perfect date to me it went perfect and i remember seeing him and thinking this feels different this this one feels different we should see each other again so we agreed on going on a second date a third date a fourth fifth and we became a thing and then here we are couple years later married yeah that's the story how we met next question says what's your favorite color hmm i feel like this is pretty obvious my favorite color is light pink i love pink pink has always been my favorite color since i was a baby so who's your favorite disney princess my favorite disney princess is ariel from the little mermaid she's been my favorite since i was two years old literally two years old and I just love her. I love the original Ariel though. Don't like don't get me wrong, I like the new Little Mermaid, but nothing will compare to the original. Me personally, I love classic Disney than the new Disney. So love me, hate me. Everybody has their own opinion. How many dogs do you have? I have two. I have Blaze which I'll insert a picture right here. I have Blazy and then I have Chanel. They're both boxers and they're the best dogs out there. They're very, very friendly, even though Blaze sometimes could react a little bit towards dogs, you know, but they are very, very lovely, especially Blaze. Like he loves kids. Like he sees a kid and he wants to play with them and he just loves attention a lot. So boxers are just an amazing breed. Next question says, have you worn braces? yes actually i did have braces from 2016 to 2018 and my teeth are not perfect anymore because i haven't been wearing my retainers so i'm literally starting to do that again as well because once again i want to have a routine i want to take care of my body myself so literally my goal for next year is to look the best version of me not like this anymore so yeah so the next question says what is your dream place to travel excited for this one so my dream place to visit it's literally paris oh my God. guys paris mm, has been my dream since i don't know i i don't know i just want to go to paris and live my blair waldorf my emily in paris but this one will be Kenya in Paris dream. Literally, like, that is my dream. And my husband knows that I really, really want to go to Paris badly. So, yep. So that will conclude today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed But I wanted to answer some of your questions. And I hope this gave you a chance to get to know me a little bit better. 
So yeah, maybe next video I'll do a Q&A with my husband. <laughs> Who knows? But thank you so much for watching, guys. Please make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.